your Lab41 mailbox, let's go through some settings that I like to configure for each of them. It'll make it a little bit easier and more user friendly. So on the user interface, you can just select some options here. There's dark or light, depending on what you prefer. Mailbox view, I always like to have a preview pane um, and just save that. It just makes it easy to see our messages. Displaying messages, um, always. I always select that option there and I save. On the composing messages, I do not quote the original message. I prefer that. You can choose your font over here. Um, and then on the other thing is you come to identities, you can add your identity here. This is for a particular website. So that's the display name, reply to. If you want a signature, you can put it in there. Or if you've got an HTML signature, you can obviously just put it in there um, and save. And that makes your mailbox just a little easier to use. And hopefully you found that helpful. Now let's look at one other thing. If you're ever struggling to work out if a mail's been delivered or if there's been an issue, please click on track delivery. And if you click on track delivery, you can see there's been no issues over here. Um, obviously, you can just go through what's the story here. These are all the people that have been sent. There are no issues here. You can see this mailbox is working very well. Um, there are no failures. These have all gone through successfully. You can check the more details over there. Um, and then let's have a look at something else here. You've obviously got your option to create an autoresponder or a forwarder. Um, contact information. Again, I would highly recommend that you uh, update this information. And then, you know, email filters. If you want any of them starred, you can just create a star over there and it just makes it nice and easy. All right, so let's jump back to the mailbox. That's where you do it. And hopefully this video added some value and showed you how the Lab41 mailboxes work.